guys so this is the latest product from google it's absolutely free in the back end it's using google nano banana you can mix and match different image ideas and create a lot of images really fast with this new tool anyone who want to create images and want to mix and match now can create and do that really easily in order to get started this is now only available in us and if you want you can use it anywhere or anywhere in the world by just using a vpn and i have already enabled vpn and i am connecting from us now let me just show you how it works click on the get started button and here you will be presented with the different pre-made templates let's just take a look at one template quickly in order to see how this actually works there are these three options here you can select hold the spacebar and that will enable you to grab this board anywhere you want uh, all, uh, this will only be possible if you press on the space and then uh, right clicking on the mouse and moving it otherwise it will not work so that's the option there then you can add a text here like in order to remember what you were doing or organize it for example like that and maybe if you want to increase the size you can do that if you want you can make it bold if you want you can change the color combination so there are like different options if you want you can also just click on delete and delete the whole thing and here you have the upload button where you can upload your own images and combine it with variations things like that i think this is really good if you want to like create a different t-shirt design or interior designers can brainstorm different ideas the possibilities are endless here so let's take a look at this image see initially get fall decoration inspiration we have uploaded this many images then ask mix board for variants so by clicking on this you can ask for different variants and you get different variants on using in, in different aspect ratios there is square, square images vertical images and 16 to 9 aspect ratio here the prompt was turned this into apple cider as you can see there is apple slices in the bottle which was not present here if you look closely you can see see there is no apple here once the image is generated you can see the apple slices here, here also image your reimage your living room so given different images and given the interior given elements are neatly decorated in the final image as you can see that's how you can use it for different use cases let me just move on and start a new project and let me see what we can do with this let's see how many images it can generate in one prompt okay create a story storyboard uh, using a cinematic style where a cat saves a dog let's see how many images it can generate okay oh it's generating a lot of images in different aspect ratios so you get the idea right now if we want i think this is the police cat uh, and the cat is saving the dog and i think it's making the cat somewhere from here you will get the initial idea of how to develop the story from here on right maybe if i take this image and if i can click we also have the op re regenerate image so if i don't like this image then i can also re by regenerate that image by clicking that button so earlier we had to prompt it right now as you can see the the cat image is now completely regenerated so if i suppose if i like this style and if i want i can generate more like this okay earlier we had to prompt it right now if we click on the button and it makes us make that process easy for us so we can create a lot of variations see we can now finalize our how the character will look like then if we want we also have the option to remove the background so a lot of tools here that you can work with so this can be our black cat our agent cat did you also notice that when we select that will be the context so if we prompt it uh, put this mad Taj Mahal behind this cat okay let's see if it's working 
so if you look at this you can see there is like a small image of Taj Mahal behind the cat so it's exactly adhering to our prompt okay I have maybe let's see if we can actually change the aspect ratio can you change the aspect ratio to 16 is to 9 So it changed the aspect ratio but it's still vertical so maybe we can remove the background now okay now it's now it's actually 16 is to 9 restyle the image now we have the image in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio but still it's not really that great so the native capability is still not there maybe i'll just add like a new project i can upload let's say this image and let me upload this dog image now i can just copy this see now we have both the image as context right so that's why this is really easy to work with now we can just select it this and make this girl pet that dog let's see so i think that's the same girl here and now let's say make her wear a red t-shirt see the same girl the t-shirt color changed right that's how you use it and if you want you can also remove the background duplicate the block like this and regenerate create more images for this variation so it's really good if you want multiple variations of the same image in different styles there is that issue where that's a big restriction here so it cannot create variations of people so if it detects human face then this feature won't work so keep also keep that in mind by this way you can create multiple images create variations and uh, make unlimited images without any restriction there is no watermark and as you can see you can now easily create youtube thumbnails or the different design for t-shirt or any branding don't think it's not accessible because of the restrictions you can easily use vpn to bypass the restriction and uh, start generating unlimited images using nano banana um, it makes the process so much easier because everything is pre-prompted with all these buttons you also have like background removal for free and once you are happy with the design you can just click on download and it will download your local system without any watermark try this out so if you like this video please do share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day Click that thumb.